Okay, so we're gonna place separators in. Separators are placed before the bands go on the teeth. So the separator is making the space for the bands to go on. So first what you wanna do is loop your floss through your little separator. This is a separator here. And we're gonna loop floss through both sides of that so that we can expand it like this. Okay, so if we're gonna put a band on tooth number 19, we need to put a separator on the mesial of 19 and the distal of 19 so that after a week or five days when the patient comes back, we've got a little space created there so that the band can seat down. The key to this is making sure that you pull it. Okay, you're gonna go in and kind of floss. Floss it down in between those teeth, kind of pull it nice and easy. There we go. So it kind of clicked down. Then I'm gonna take my floss and pull it out. There we go. Probably didn't have to make this so long, huh? There we go. So there's one side. So do you see how it's not down below the gingiva there? It's not impinging on the gingiva, but it's not a, above the occlusal surface. So now we're gonna do the distal. Grab your floss. So you can pull, go in, down in between, kind of slide back and forth. And it's usually really tight because that's why we have to put a separator in there. There we go. And so I'm gonna leave this one to show you the how it shouldn't be, how far down this one looks. Let's look at this one. get in there and look at that one. So we don't, we want it to be up a little more. So if you can see on the lingual side, it's way down in there. We don't want it to be down that far. We want it to look like this. Okay. So you're going to place it on the mesial and the distal of any tooth that's going to need a band. Good.